Any Woman by Catherine Tynan About the Poet Catherine Tynan 1859-1931 Was an Irish-born writer Known mainly for her novels and poetry She was born in an agricultural family in Dublin And educated at a convent school in Drogheda Her poems were first published in 1878 She had close association with the poet Gerard Manley Hopkins and married him. She went on to play a major part in Dublin literary circles, until she married and moved to England. Later, she lived at Clare Morris, County Mayo. She wrote more than 100 novels. Her collected poems appeared in 1930. She also wrote five autobiographical volumes. Her poem, Any Woman, is a beautiful picture of woman in her extraordinary duties in the family. It is an inspiring poem that celebrates the glory of womanhood. About the poem, Any Woman, by Catherine Tynan, presents the extraordinary power of a woman to hold a family together. The poetess describes the bond between the mother and her children. She feels that motherhood is the supreme gift to women. Mother renders selfless service and sacrifices everything for the sake of her children, and the family, in the poem. She explains about the cares, worries and burdens, that mothers bear everywhere to hold their homes in order. The speaker of the poem is a woman and she is the mother of a house. She describes her role in maintaining the family. She is an important and responsible person to look after the family and guide the children. She says that she is the pillar of the house and the keystone of the arch. If the pillars and keystone are taken away, the house will be spoiled and the roof will collapse. In the same way, if the mother is taken away, the family will be spoiled. A mother is not only an important person of the house but also she is the life, light, and love that fills a house. Like the sun which warms the earth, mother is the fire upon the hearth. The children feel happy in the hands of a mother. Without her, the house would be lifeless and the children would not develop well. The mother is also like a twist or a bond in the ring that holds the different strands together. She keeps the children together in the holy ring of love. Without the bond of mother's love, many children will be spoiled. The poetess describes the functions that a mother performs every day in the house. She works to make her children happy. She decorates the house, gets the table ready for dinner, arranges the curtains and makes their bed. Here she is also compared to a mother bird that builds the nest, feeds the baby birds and makes their bed with her own soft feathers. She protects the children from the wind and the snow and from all the risks by standing as a wall. Finally, she prays God to keep her alive till the children grow and lead their lives happily. End of the analysis. Let's look at the poem. Any woman. Bye. Catherine Tynan. I am the pillars of the house. The keystone of the arch am I. Take me away, and roof and wall. Would fall to ruin me utterly. I am the pillars of the house. The keystone of the arch am I. Take me away, and roof and wall. Would fall to ruin me utterly. Stanza 2. I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the light of the good sun. I am the heat that warms the earth which else were colder than a stone. I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the light of the good sun. I am the heat that warms the earth, which else were colder than a stone. Stanza 3. At me the children warm their hands. I am their light of love alive. Without me cold the hearthstone stands. Nor could the precious children thrive. At me the children warm their hands. I am their light of love alive. Without me cold the hearthstone stands. Nor could the precious children thrive. Stanza 4. I am the twist that holds together. The children in its sacred ring. They're not of love, from whose close tether. No lost child goes a wandering. I am the twist that holds together. The children in its sacred ring. They're not of love, from whose close tether. No lost child goes a wandering. Stanza 5. I am the house from floor to roof. I deck the walls, the board I spread. I spin the curtains, warp and woof. And shake the down to be their bed. I am the house from floor to roof. 
I deck the walls, the board I spread. I spin the curtains, warp and woof. And shake the down to be their bed. Stanza six I am their wall against all danger. Their door against the wind and snow. Thou whom a woman laid in a manger. Take me not till the children grow. I am their wall against all danger. Their door against the wind and snow. Thou whom a woman laid in a manger. Take me not till the children grow. End of the poem. Thank you. Artu Educare.